The Data State Governor Right Honorable Sheriff Oboriwori on Monday performed the groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of three flyovers, Novandis, road expansion, and pedestrian bridges in Efron and Ware metropolis of the state. The project includes road expansion and improvement works between Efron and DSC roundabouts, PTI Junction flyover, DSC roundabout flyover, NRA Junction, and Marine Gate flyover, and Novandis at Efron roundabout. Performing the groundbreaking ceremony in a forum of the local government area of the state, Governor Boriwori said it was a fulfillment of the promise he made to the people of the state during his inauguration on May 29. He said the project would ease traffic, gridlock, and vehicular movements in the affected areas, adding that it would change the face of the twin cities of Efron and Warren. The governor added that the projects will create employment and improve economic activities for engineers, artisans, laborers, food vendors, suppliers, transporters, quarry operators, and so many others in the construction value chain. Governor Boriwori said, We have released the agreed sum as advance payment to the contractor, which on its part commends surveys final design sub-oil test and other activities president to the commencement of the actual construction works. These are in addition to the establishment of the site yards, offices, and life camps. The cumulative contract sum for the four projects is $77,997,159,000 and one Kobo. And the contractor has a completion period of 27 months. These four strategic projects are aimed at solving the great knock often experienced between a funnel roundabout through the PTI Road Junction to DSC Roundabout on the Funnel Patani East and West Highway at a funnel. They will also ease vehicle movement at the stretch from NRA Junction, a funnel to Marine Gate, Warren in Uye and Warren South local government areas. As I said during the contract signing ceremony, this project will not only change the face of the worry from metropolis, they will also ease the traffic congestions in the area and alleviate the hardship faced by commuters. I urge the contractors to work relentlessly to meet the schedule we have agreed to. The immediate communities and their leaders should appreciate the enormous investment the government is making and join hands with us to ensure the speedy completion of these projects. Let me conclude by saying that the projects commencing today underscores our commitment and determination to improve road and transport infrastructure as contained in the moral agenda of this administration. We shall continue aggressively upgrade them across the three senatorial districts in the state, as this will drive development in other sectors, Oboriwori added. The Commissioner for Works, Highway and Urban Roads, Comrade Ruben Izizi, lauded Governor Oboriwori for the vision in executing the projects, noting that it was the first time in the history of the state Junior's Berja was executing project for the state government. Managing Director of Junior's Berja Nigeria PLC, Mr. Nara Sindichita, commended the state government for the vision and insight in investing in the spatial infrastructure in the Twin Cities and thank Governor Boriwori for finding the company worthy to execute the projects. He assured that the company will deliver the work on schedule and in line with specification. On his part, the Ovier of Uya Kingdom, His Royal Majesty, Dr. Emmanuel Sideso, commended the Governor Boriwori for the project for remembering the Uye people, assuring that they will protect the project. Also speaking, the honor of Warwick Kingdom, Ogeme Atwasa III, represented by Dr. Rondan or for described the project as a project of unity and pledged the unalloyed support of the people of Warwick towards the successful completion of the project. The chairman of Uye and Wari South local government areas, Honorable Ramsen, Onayeke and Dr. Michael Tidi respectively in their remarks said the people of the area are happy with the project delivering efforts of the Governor Boriwori and would cooperate with the contractor to ensure prompt delivery. It will be recalled that the State Executive Council at its inaugural meeting on September 12 approved the contract while the contract signing ceremony was held on October 18.